Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy Brief Extras video, and today we're going to be showing off the new Atmos Roka, who is the number one dark DPS in the game currently. We're also going to be showing off Renoa, her crowns. They weren't really relevant for a while, but now they're relevant because she actually has a good leader. So under her leader skill, she actually has 16k, almost 17k. She'd probably have 17k if I have her uh, the weapon here. I don't have it, so... Um, she has 16k magic under Roka's leader skill, which is quite good. Because she's considered a uh, summoner. So, yeah, pretty good. And uh, unironically, I made fun of this, but I'm actually going to be using this because I need a uh, dragon killer. So, there's that. <laughs> um, and here is the Roka build. I mean, it's just a, a standard TGH magic build with human, beast, and dragon killer at maximum. But this rod has a thousand flat magic on it. So, very good rod. It's, for, it's free. So, with that being said, let's get into. Oh, forgot about Corral. You might be wondering he's like, he's like the the sore thumb there, or the, or the sore whatever you want to call it. Uh, he actually has crowns on the JP version and the global version. You guys probably won't care about him, but on JP he has 89% spirit and defense break AOE, and also 150% dark and peril. So that's good for me for this battle. But most of you guys probably won't care about that when it comes to global since it's not 90%. But on JP it's fine. Let's get into it. So for the first turn, we're going to go ahead and use Corral's AoE break. We're going to go ahead and broadcast this chaining. And then this is her mod buff and also her store buff. Reno is not going to do anything and Dark Fina is going to go ahead and do the 150% human killer. Do the dark amp just because we can, and you also use this AoE dark amp just because we can. We're gonna defend with Renoa this time because I actually, in my the run that I did to complete this, uh, I, sh I found out she doesn't have infinite turns because I forgot, forgot about that. So, kind of unfortunate that she shifted back to her base from at the last battle. So, that wasn't something I wanted to experience. So, now we're gonna stay in her base form for the first wave. Because I don't need her for the first wave, but I do need her for the second wave. And I can, I actually can beat them on the first turn. But then that means Kimono Darkfina, or Fina, uh, Darkfina Warrior's Prayer does not have her SLB activated on the, on the second wave. So, kind of need that to happen. Um, I don't know if... I don't know if this is gonna kill them. Okay, it is. Okay, I, I didn't know. I, I I didn't think that their um, base LB would be able to do enough, but it does. We will need their brave shift LB, I believe, though, because the rod in peril. So you want to kill this guy on the first turn. And you guys already know that on global, you need to kill this guy on the first turn because he becomes ridiculous if you don't kill him on the first turn. He has like insane mitigation and, and stat buffs that you can't remove, which is really stupid, so... Okay... I got me scared. That was a jump scare. That 1%. That was a jump scare. That was a jump scare. Okay. Alright, here we are with the third boss. We won't be able to one-shot him or anything like that like we did before. But that's okay, right? Alright, so we're gonna shift and we're gonna go ahead and this, this, and we'll just provoke for some mitigation. We don't really, don't, we don't really need to use that, but we'll just use it anyways. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the hundred percent amp on them, on her, <coughs> on her, I mean. And I guess we can use. I don't know if we, I, I don't know if we need this, but put it on just to be safe. Use her brave shift LB for the store buff, and then we're gonna go ahead and one hundred fifty percent amp. 
two chaining, and also this uh, cooldown we've been using. So this won't do very much damage, but it'll do a little bit. Just obviously this guy's a lot tankier, right? Cover. Gonna heal. And I don't think the last one really matters that much. Well, I guess we'll use this to give some some uh, LBs LBs to them. And we're gonna go ahead and prep up Renoa. We're gonna summon Golem. Gonna use her base LB. Pretty good damage. Pretty good. Good, 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 good. So actually there's some RNG on his attacks, so I'm sure you guys already know that, but there is some RNG on his attacks. Uh, looks like we're having some um, issues with her LB there, so hopefully we can generate a little bit of uh, LB stuff here. That's exactly what we needed. Okay, good. This should end it. I mean... There's no buffs or anything, so it should be good. Let all that stuff go through first. There we go. All right, perfect kill. Turn three kill, very nice. Now you guys in global may already still be able to beat this around that time because of 90% breaks. I mean, technically yeah, we have 90% break with lightning, but she doesn't have a dark imperil like Floral does. But yeah, that's done way sooner than they had ever intended. All right, so that's gonna be it guys. That is Atmos Roca, very powerful. On global should probably be even stronger because um dazzling demoness and all that kind of good stuff as usual but we'll see anyways thank you guys very much for watching appreciate you hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace